You show me what you got. What have you got? Grape? Mm. Hey guys! So I just thought I would sort of take you on our daily life here in Japan in the summertime. Break is going to be starting at the end of this month, so I'm going to have to come up with a lot of activities for the kids. But anyway, in Japan, our kitchens aren't super big, so.、Um, Yeah, we don't have a lot of storage space. I mean, there are some cabinets up here. Not as much space as I'm used to in America. But anyway, so I'm just making dinner now. We picked Leo up from school. And I just am whipping up some of these、um, chicken drumsticks that I marinated in like a homemade teriyaki style glaze with、uh, soy sauce, honey. Um, sake and a little bit of freshly grated ginger. So I'm about to pop those into our oven. This is what an oven looks like in Japan. So it's the matter you bumped your head and you're looking for mama.、Mm -hmm. How about you? It's time to do your homework, right? Yeah. Would you like it to go and do、yeah. your homework now? How about you? Would you like to do your homework now?、Mm -hmm. Why did he do his book? All right, let's go do homework. Bye. Let's go. <laughs> homework, 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 homework. Yay! Oh, look, we got your little table set up here. Let's sit down here. And I'll put that right up there. All right, you want to show me what's in your book? Oh, you made a squeak. What's in your book? Oh, what's this one? Can you show me this one? Apple. Apple, yes. And who's that? Hi. Mikan. And who's this Tento Mushi, a ladybug? Yes, and a ninjin. Oh, and do you know this page? Can you show me who's on this page? A bee. A bee. Yeah, Ray just learned a new word, the word bee. And now, now that he's learned how to say this word, he's so excited and he goes around saying it all the time. And it's very cute. Squeak! <laughs> So, at our little farm garden that we go to, there's lots of frogs now because it used to be a rice paddy and、um, there's like rice fields all next to it anyway. Yeah. But anyway, so there's tons of frogs around all the time and so we catch them whenever we go out to the garden, which is kind of fun. Okay, so as I was saying, this is a, an oven in Japan. It's actually a, a combination microwave and oven. And so,、um, this recipe is for like baked chicken drumsticks. So, I'm just preheating it here. There's like a there's like the range or like microwave option oven. There's also a grill, which I've never used, and like a steam. So, there's a little compartment here that we can pop out and fill with water. And then it's like a convection slash steam oven. Anyway, so I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Oh, just sing a little song at me and said it's ready. So, this is how I use this oven. So, it's preheated and it just chimed. So, there's a tray in here, and I'm just gonna pop in my baking dish. Close this up, and I preset the baking time. That's how this oven works. So, I just press start, and then it's gonna go for 30 minutes. And if it needs to go longer,、um, I have to go back and like restart everything. It's kind of annoying. I wanted to show you this interesting vegetable I picked up at the store. So, this is called a、uh, ta sai. I've never heard of this before, but it looks like kind of like a leafy green vegetable, and I'm always looking for different varieties of that sort of thing around here. So, I thought I would get this to try it, and I just chopped up some. Aburage, which is like a fried tofu skin, and so I'm just gonna make like a little side dish vegetable thing to go with our chicken and rice. So it looks like they have a bunch of, because summer break is gonna start、um, towards the end of this month, but it looks like they have things that we can do at the school. There's a whole bunch of、um, things they can do, like swimming and like、uh, art. It's kind of like summer camp, I guess. Natsuya Sumi, I'm sure they're gonna give you a bunch of homework too for Natsuya Sumi. What I really like about the Japanese public education system is like they have a lot of learning materials that like we'd never get in America, but they get these k s a n cards, which is like little math problems that they're supposed to go through every day, and like they say the problem and then the answer is on the back. So he has got addition. 
think this one is subtraction. Yeah. And so like we're supposed to mix these up so that it's not always in the same order. And yeah, he has to practice these every day. And then what else do you do? You do um, like a reciting from your textbook. So like they have to read a story and recite it. And I have to like sit there with him and like make sure that he's doing it properly. Yeah. Leo has graciously agreed to recite a little bit of his uh, homework for us. So here we go. Okay. Almost will be caught on him. <laughs> I thought that was fine. This is an herb called fish mint. It smells really just like dead fish if you pull it out. Apparently it's used in like kampo, which is like Eastern like um, herbal medicine. And like you can make tea from it. I forgot what it's good for, but my neighbor told me about it. Her, like her grandma used to make tea out of it or something. But anyway, it's like very invasive and it's all over. I have to pull it out every two weeks. It, get, it like grows up all throughout the garden. Okay, my oven timer just went off, so mm, it smells really good. Let's check on how the chicken came out. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh. That looks good. Okay, it's really hot, so I'm about to take it off. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I'm just gonna base on some of the extra liquid. I'm quite happy with how this this oven cooks it way better than my oven in America. That's for sure. Mm. Ooh, look at the pretty pattern inside of that. Being a mom is hard work. I'm constantly busy with housework, running errands, as well as meal prepping for the kids, doing homework with Leo, while also tending to my very rambunctious toddler. Mm. 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 <laughs> Dad! Yummy! Mm. Who's your Pokemon you got? Kali! Lizardon and Mariru. <laughs> okay, let's put that on the rice. 
I can't imagine doing all this on top of working full time. I have so much respect for mothers and fathers who do it every day. Mmm, yummy. That. Mm hmm. Can I get you a bib and a fork? But I also count my blessings that I'm able to stay home and be there for my children while they're still so young and impressionable is invaluable to me and gives me a sense of satisfaction in seeing their growth and development every single day. I wish there was more support out there for single parents and full-time working parents so that they could also get to share more moments with their children and loved ones. So I wanted to show you my office. So we happen to be really lucky in this house that we're renting right now to have a, um, like a walk-in closet kind of, or like a storage room. And as you can see, this is the state of it right now. It's, we're using it for some boxes that we haven't finished unpacking yet. In the meantime, it's, I thought it would be like the perfect place for me to have a little office. So, um, yeah, you can see there's like good storage up top here for suitcases and like some bins, which I brought from America. So we got this cool dresser here. It was like used and we got it online and it came with this little stool, which I've been using, but it's really uncomfortable. Like when I'm editing or doing computer work. So, um, I need to get like a new, a new chair. <laughs> So um, I found this one on Amazon and it just arrived today, it was, but it's like a swivel sort of chair and it leans back and it also folds in. So I thought I would try this out at this desk. Yeah, this is a work in progress room, but I want to clean up. And we have like the Shoji doors that were downstairs in Maki's office, but the kids um, unfortunately poke holes in them. And since we're rent renting this house, like we have to pay for any damages. So we thought we'd put them up here. Hi. Hi, what do you got? Oh, yeah. But anyway, so we brought them, we just removed them from the frame and we brought them up here and it makes kind of a cute background behind me, but yeah, you got a rooster. Anyway, so I'm going to set this chair up now and at least take out the box and see what it's like. nicer it swivels around it's like soft and cushy and plush and I can lean back or I can like make it more upright if I need to like sit up more ah oh, very good mm. 
It's a rainy day. We just came down to our garden patch because we haven't been in a few days, even though it's the rainy season. Like we gotta attend to stuff. The weeds are growing tall. We got a bunch of eggplants. I picked them here. There's a couple other ones to get. The bell peppers are getting big, but I need to tie up this plant. That eggplant looks like it's not gonna make it. And some big zucchini over there. <laughs> Celery's big. Oh, and no, oh no! Oh, something came and ate her melon. Oh man. And the sprouts come yeah, in. Yeah, I know. Oh, that one stinky. What? The it's the smell of the water. Okay, yeah, so this is the state of the garden right now. <laughs> then we planted some cucumbers and those are climbing, so that's good. I'm gonna tie those up more. I got lots of carrots, but I didn't know that these carrots were ready. I thought they were ready in November. Apparently our carrots are ready. And look at this. Look what we found here. We found a jalapeno. Mm. A very good, good, good. Grandma hates these, but they do turn into pretty butterflies. Ew, look okay. at its little legs. Here's our total carrot harvest so far. There's we, we took about half or a third. No, five hundred. You got five hundred. We took about half or a third of what we planted. No, we got and five hundred. Just like a carrots. reminder, because not all these are perfect, and the animals kind of bit into the moles or something bit into them. So it's just a good reminder that we just go to the cut. Farming takes a lot of work to grow your own food, and you're not always going to get what you thought you were going to get or the amount you were yeah, going to so get. Yeah, so we're just going to cut what we can perfect. just cut. We will cut more of the where it was. Yeah, we'll cut off the bad parts. And we left some rotten ones for the animals. Why don't you try to move it? Oh, we just found a kuagata. Nokogiri kuagata. See the shape of his pinchers. It's like a saw. That's why they call it a nokogiri. And he was just on our window here. On our screen in this window. That's pretty unusual. You don't see them. Out in the day, usually they they like nocturnal. Oh, you're bringing some more peppers in for me. Thank you. What a big helper you are. Aww. <laughs> this is our harvest. The, all the carrots. I just cut all the stems off of them. Oh, thank you. You brought a pepper. What a big helper you are. Fourth of July, but this is Japan. Ooh, let me wait. You gotta stand back a little bit. Ooh, I can't believe. It. I don't know why, but it's exciting. Ooh, that was red and blue. And green. Ooh, lucky. Wow. from our front window. It's like a perfect spot. Lucky. Hanabi. Okay, it's Monday and I just, we are at the driving center or the driving testing center for Nara Prefecture. I'm gonna be um, getting, applying for my driver's test today. So we have to submit a lot of paperwork and um, I take a paper test and an eye test. And so I'm just here, we're just waiting in the car to go in for our appointment. Um, I'm a little nervous because it's been a while since I've 
had to like take any sort of driving test. This is just the paper test, so it's not the actual road test that's going to be scheduled at a later date. But yeah, I'm a little nervous. I don't like testing particularly and yeah, there's some different rules in Japan. The signs are different, so like I'm just trying to study right now and memorize and remember everything. So I guess I'll let you know how it goes later. Hopefully I pass. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, so I just um, got through the initial stage for applying for a Japanese license and I passed! Yay! Good job me! I got perfect 10 out of 10, so that was good. Um, it was a little bit tricky or like we had to bring a lot of different documents and there was one document that we forgot. It wasn't really super important, but next time we have to bring that. So yeah, definitely like sometimes I've heard you'll get turned away if you forget something. So like, yeah, you have to be really prepared in advance, but it wasn't too hard. The questions were pretty basic and straightforward. I think if you do a little bit of research on the internet, you should be able to pass pretty easily, at least the paper test part. The driving test part is a different story. So um, you're allowed to do like a practice drive of the course. So we had to make a reservation for that, which we did. So I'm gonna do one more, actually here. Yeah. That's, that's what the course looks like over there. So that's where, that's where I'll take my tests later. And like they have an A course and a B course. And so like the directions or like the steps you have to do are different. So like, and you're not gonna know in advance what it is. So it's either one or the other. So like you basically have to remember both of them. So that's what's really hard for me. So that's why I wanted to do one more like hour practice before I try to take the regular test. And so I'm going to do that in two weeks and then my test will be like two days after that practice. So yeah, and this is just what the NARA test driving center is. It's like the DMV basically and there's only one in the whole prefecture. So everyone has to come here. Anyway, so yeah, I'm relieved that I passed that. I don't have to worry about that part. Now I just have to focus on memorizing the driving course for the driver's test. Now we're in a burger place close by and we're gonna enjoy American style burgers. What do you think, baby? Is it exciting? Wait, wait. You got a fork? Hito commento. <laughs> what do you think? Is it yummy? Why oh, do you like the fried potato part? <laughs> it's the next day and today is a very special day because it's our 10th oh. wedding anniversary! <laughs> Honestly, I, if you would have told me 10 years ago mm. that we are where we are now, like I wouldn't have imagined it. Mm. Like through several international moves, ki uh, two kids and lots of job changes and all sorts of things. Mm. Yeah, there's been a lot that we went through, but it's been a fun ride, huh? <laughs> and I'm so thankful for you to be such a good partner. <laughs> Maybe he loves the gudon. It's <laughs> mama tabetteru. Look. Hai, then now, so, 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 in our 10 years of marriage, I think my love has grown for Maki as our family has grown. He's the best dad for our boys and he treats them with lots of love and warmth. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me the happiest to see him playing with our kids and their smiles and laughter. I'm very grateful that he can be there and present in our kids' lives. I think that's so important and I realize how lucky we are, as not everyone is in the position to do so. <laughs> I 
I truly feel that everyone in the world deserves this kind of loving relationship. <laughs> Family is so, so precious, and they're what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching this week's vlog. Please subscribe, give us a like, comment, and stay tuned for more of our life in Japan.